Hi lovely, you are welcome back again to my channel. This is Dog Master Sheets. If you are watching me for the first time, you are highly welcome and you are a returning subscriber. Thanks so much. And if you are not yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are going to cut this pieces gown with lace edges. So I'm going to use three yards of fabric for this style. So um, um, I use the old edges of this lace for the neck line. So let's start. So the first thing to do, I measure from this shoulder here to the whole length, which is 58. Then I added two inches for the seam allowance. Then from the shoulder here to the nipple point here is 11. And to the underboss is 14. And to the half length is 16. And to the hip length is 24.5. Then I make a rule, a straight line for the bust to the under bust and also to the waist. And to the hip line, I connected all this line. So I, I went ahead to liberate this bust on the bust and the waist and the hip line. So then from here I started measuring from the upper part here from the neckline, the center neck to the shoulder, which is sustained divided by two. So I have it here, I mark out it. Then I came down by one inch for the shoulder slope. So I connected this slope to the next side. So after I connected this, I'm going to mark out the armor measurement that is the bust divided by 6 plus 1.5. So here I have 8 inches here. So I mark out 8 inches. For my arm, then I make a straight line, then I connected it again with this. So, here yeah, I'm going to make a cuff. So, guys, I'm sorry, I can discover this pencil it doesn't work very well, so I have to use the, this marker. So, this is the arm side. So, this is the side and the from the bust here, I mark out the bust pound that is the bust pound divided by two. So the bust pound is eight inches and divided by two is four. They are added half inches, that's 4.5 for the bust, for the waist, for the for the under bust, and also for the hip. I connected all this line. I make a straight line here. Then from the bottom side here, I mark out eight inches. So it's going to be in form of pieces then i'm using three yards of fabric so i have to know how to manage the clothes so i have to connect it from the hip line here to the bottom line now from this place I mark out the from the shoulder here I mark out four inches so I'm going to connect this to the bust line so after connected it then I come out by I came out by one inches so that I connected it together with this line so by the time I want, I will join this side, so everything will be equal. It will be shorter, so I have to connect. I have to remark the armor side, so I I reshape the armor side. Then from this bust pan here, the bust circumference is 40 divided by 4. This, that is 10. I mark out 10 inches, then I added 2 inches for the same allowance, and for the under bust. I mark out the the bust on uh, the underboss pan and 
I mean the conference by four also, which is 38. I have 9.5, then I had a 20 allowance. And also for the waist, I mark out 9.5 plus 2 inches seam allowance. Then to the hip line, the hip circumference is 44 divided by 4, that is 11. Then I mark out 11 plus 2 inches seam allowance also. Here I connected it together. Close to the waist, to the hip line. Then moving back to the downside, this is the bottom side, and I went ahead to extend this line from here. I mark out eight inches, or you can make it to be ten inches, depending on the fabric you are working with, or depending on how you want it to be wide. So I mark out ten inches, then I connected it straight down like this. So here, I went back to the neckline. So from the center front here, I mark out 3.5 for the neck width and the neck depth for the back. I mark out 3 inches. Because I want to work with the back first before marking the front neck. So I mark out 3 inches for the back neck. So I connected it like this. So when I now place, I'll leave the allowance of the seam. But now let's be working on this first. So for the neck, for the neck for the front neck now i'm going to mark out inches then i connected it like this in form of v like this because that neck is going to be in form of v neck so guys now i'll use this fabric i will cut it out now so after cutting it i will use it to cut out the back before i will now cut out the front so let's cut it out now So I started from the downside. Then moving to the front, to the bust, and to the armor, curve everything. I cut everything out. after cutting it then I'll use this pattern to cut out the back piece so I slanted the shoulder so, so I did not join it back because I want to cut out the half length which is 16 inches so this is the half length 16 inches so I have to cut out this side because I want to, it's going to have the half length. So I cut that half length out. So 
Okay, this is the main fabric. I want to use this pattern to cut out the back. So I left out like 1.5 inches for the slip allowance. So now I will cut it together with this neck in form of round neck. I cut out the shoulder side and the ammo side. Back side is also in form of princess, so I have to cut it like this. So after this, I'm going to open the slip side so I open the slip side then cut out all the necessary place so now I'm going to join it together now then back to the front piece so I make sure the two edges you know is unfold so the two edges the lace edges both are aligned together i make sure that i set it everything is aligned then i place this front side to this just be washing it so i place it like this in this place you have to be very careful so you have to slant it a little bit so that you make sure that you achieve your aim so then i place it like this Then I'll be trailing it and cut. So I started the children. And also the ammo side and all the sides. The front piece now. So after cutting all this, so I will join it together also. So I will join it together and I will come back and show you the outlook. So after joining it, so this is what you just place it like this. Make sure one is lap other, just a little bit like this. Make sure the edges, the edges lapping just a little bit and you can see the fill shape now then i take it to the machine and stitch it so after stitching it stitching it it cuts all the rope all the journey rope there so you do the same thing for the back so this is the front parts and this is the back parts after joining it so yeah, you can see the hole now so then i cut out all the threads so this is the front piece and this is also the back piece so, yeah I will join the shoulder to shoulder the back shoulder with the front shoulder but before doing that I went ahead to use bias binding so this is the bias binding that I used to pipe the back neck so we just use half an inch to slow that side and turn it back to the right side so now for the down side I make sure the two edges 
of the lace fabric are casing ish so make sure the boots are aligned then i place the center front pattern so i place it directly like this so this is the center front and this is the side front so i cut out the center front first Meanwhile, you know, I extended the length of the fabric because of this pattern is short. So, just mark your your length and cut it out. So, this is for the front, and also I went ahead to do the same thing for the back as well. So I open this side because I'm working with the two pieces together for the center front and the side front also. So I cut out the two together. After cutting it, I will open that edge. So from this side, I added like one inches allowance for the side then I shape it out like this so now cut it like this I'm trying to manage to cut it because the scissors is enter this all of this lace so I have to be taking my time to be cutting it When I'm done with cutting of this center front so I'm going to use this pattern also to cut out the back so the only difference is I'm, I will I left like two inches for the slip allowance here for the back so that's the only difference so that's the slip allowance then I use it to cut out the back also So I have to be managing to be cutting it because this blade is somehow the old is somehow so I have to be managing to be cutting it like that. So I'm done with the center back now so the side back now so I have to I added like one inches also for the back side so this is the one inches I place it like this downwards before cutting it out So I'm almost done with this.
Uh, we cutting it gently. Yeah, I'm done with cutting. I'm going to open that side. You know, it's two together, so I have to open that side. So yeah, I'm done with this. Then I will go to the machine and join it together. So I make sure I join the front and the side front, and the side back and the center back also. So I join it together. Uh, join it together then I come and show you so after joining so this is the center front so this is the center O at the uh, front side so this is it and for the back also so after joining it so this is outlook and also the sip side so this is the sip side now the next thing to do This is the upper pass, the front pass, and the back also. So I will place the front pass on the upper part and the front downside. So these are the two together. So I will arrange it. Then I will make sure that the waistline, this is the waistline here. I will use half an inch to join this waistline. But before that, I make sure that the that O is aligned you can see it and make sure that everything is kissing so you can use pin to pin it down before joining it so the same thing to the back and make sure i join the upper part and the downside so this is it after joining it so this is it. then i will now go and join the measurements the side the bust circumference the waist and the hip to the bottom side i will go and join it now Okay, after joining to so this it as you can see it's so lovely so after this this is the sleeve that I cut out because this sleeve is going to have the elastic rubber so from the edges here from the lace edges i came up by five inches then i used to chuck to mark out all these five inches like this marking it straight depending on how you want your slit to be long so you know i'm working with this fabric that i have now so you use your you cut out this piece of clothes then you join it with half inches like this then you now turn it again and top stitch this side because this side i'm going to inside the elastic so this is it i cut out like 10 inches elastic then i use this safety pin to insert it so after i inserted it then i stitch it so this is it. it's going to be drawn like this and this is the ammo side just place it and stitch it around with half inches so this is it after joining it this is the outlook so if you find this tutorial if you don't forget to like share and you can drop your comments so this is the sip here and the downside i folded it with half an inch then i stitch it around like that so this is the sequence that we are going to wear under so that's the under sequence so thanks so much